Um, what's your name? My name's Gordon, Gordon Hudson. Hello, I'm at my Matilda. Uh, is, this is your car? This is my car, yeah, and uh, has been for quite a number of years, since 1970. Gee, I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful car. So you've done 300,000 miles in it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Aww. Yeah. Oh. So it's, uh, it was, it was, it's the, as far as we can make out from any records, it's the oldest uh, V4 engine one in the world. It's still registered. Is it? Running, you know, yeah. Right, the oldest was, V4? Yeah. It was built as a two-stroke. It's, it's telling you, didn't you? Well, you want to take a picture of that, isn't it? Yeah, well, they'll stop it. You can stop it when it's on the video on YouTube. Oh, right. They'll be able to pause that and read right. that. Right. Yeah. It was built as a, as a, a long nose two-stroke engine. Yeah. It's but they made the excuses they'd run out of clutches, so they didn't put the engines in. And they put 200 <laughs> aside. And then when, in August, when the factory closed down, some of the lads obviously stopped behind and they put these V4 engines in these 200. There was 10 of them came to this country, obviously right hand drive. You know? And uh, as far as we can make out, if there is an older one, it's, uh, it's in a barn in America and isn't taxed or insured or registered with a club or anything. You know? So how many of these cars are there, these actual cars? That's with the engine you're talking about, or it, the oh, actual model of the car? Uh, well, there's, there's thousands of, uh, thousands of engine ones. Like, they engine ones. They're carried on making them right yeah. up to, uh, what, 1970? 79, that's right. 80, I think, when they finally, when they finally stopped making them. <coughs> so what's the fur where's the furthest you've gone in it? The uh, furthest, oh, I don't know, either the North Cape in Norway or Venice in Italy. Oh. You've, been to, you've been abroad in it? Oh yeah, oh, wow. I, it went, to, went, to, went, uh, went abroad for, with the, a tent on the top for 13 <laughs> years. Oh, wow. So it's been everywhere from the North Cape in nowhere to Venice and Florence in Italy and everywhere in between. And have you ever broken down or it's been totally no. reliable? Ne no. Never broken down once? It's broken, well, I've walked away from it once and wow. left it. And that, that was when the sender unit on the petrol tank, right. it was shown half full and it was empty. Oh, that's amazing. And I don't know the petrol, obviously. Oh, know. that's amazing. It's never so it's been in the garage for 30 years. It stands outside, so, so summer and it, winter. So, so it's in this condition and you've uh, you've had it outside? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. It's just been being a hardest week, she insists on living outside, summer and winter. Hasn't been in the garage for 30 years. We'll probably get claustrophobic. <laughs> 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 uh, It'd be in Austria somewhere, I think. Wow. Well, I love your little roof rack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's where. Wow. Not for me, all it does. <laughs> and that's in Austria. That's at the uh, the foot of the Switzerland, actually. That's the foot of the that's the Rhone glacier. The foot of the Rhone glacier. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Then we went to uh, camping. Camping. North we went, Cape. North Cape. We went up to the North Cape. We used those. I do. I used those just for company, like yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was a ticket. I was. That was that was a friend's car. It's, that's a, that's a, that's is an old two-stroke, two-cylinder two-stroke. That's about the oldest Saab on the road. No, it's 1952, and that was crossing the North Cape, crossing the uh, Arctic Circle, going north. <laughs> You've got some great memories. Uh, I don't know how that lady is. I was taking a picture of the two cars, and she just came and paused beside Did you? me. <laughs> 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 That was on the Lofoten. That's on the. That was on the Lofoten Islands. Oh wow! That was a lovely place. That. Oh wow! That's great. Home of the. That's where the sea eagles came from. Got that some they great introduced. Pigs. Yeah, the Java fest. Polar bears. That's the north most northerly permanently inhabited town in uh, in Europe. That yeah. There's a big naval base during the Second World War for German summer. Uh, German somebody. Right. Yeah, had us the Arctic convoys from there. Oh, and that wow. was just a, a Suomi lady, a Lapland lady in a native costume. She had a stall on the market and I got her to come. But she jumped talk. on as well. No, I, do, I got her to do <laughs> oh, you that. asked her. <laughs> <laughs> That's at the North Cape. Crossing from uh, Norway into Finland. And that was all there was. That was the border. Just an artist saying you were entering Finland. Yeah. So did your wife go on most of your journeys with you? Oh yeah, she did yeah. at one yeah. time, yeah. But she didn't fancy that. That was... Uh, that was uh, that was at the end, back at uh, 
the sound factory at Trollhattan and the museum. There's a big museum there. Like, yeah. so. They've had some wonderful back, journeys. Back home. Yeah. That's, that's camping oh, look! That's the, oh. That was the other thing I used to drive. You used to drive those? Yeah. Oh, she loves steam engines. Yeah. I've always wanted to see one like that. I've never been able to see well, one this, like that. that. That's that was, why. It, well, it's the same as my lab. It's an Nigel Gresley, that one. That's, <gasps> the one. that's the one we want to see. <laughs> ah. we, we are just, desperate to see that. We are desperately yeah. to see the Nigel Gresley. I was just about to say, say is that I couldn't yeah. see for the light on the plastic, yeah. but I was going to say, is that Sir Nigel Gresley? We yeah. desperately want to that's see that one. That's the one we desperately want to see. Yeah, Nigel crack an engine there. Oh, wow. And you've got a picture of your car next to it. We want that with Princess. Oh, uh, my two favourite drives. Uh, I think that would be Princess and that would be, but I've never driven it. So you used to tell us about yeah, that? Yeah, I started my life on the working life really. I was on a farm labourer and then I went on the railway when I was 18 as an engine cleaner and then a fireman and then a driver and one thing and another. I went up through the ranks and uh, I'd always, always just a bit of a steam fanatic even, it was because everything in 1956 when I started, everything was steam. Mm. There was hardly any diesels at all. And uh, so I managed to keep my steam knowledge up and one thing and another. And then when they started running them again, preserved engines after BR had finished, we, uh, I managed to, and I ended up working for West Coast Railways at Canforth. Uh, oh, did you? Steam All time, right. Yeah. Steam time, yeah. We go there often to, yeah, the, to, yeah. to the railway yeah. station. So yeah. I, spent, I spent about 12 years there. Wow. Uh, driving preserved steam engines. So you've driven Sir Nigel Gresler? I've driven Sir Nigel Gresler. Oh, yeah. wow. And what yeah. other um, ones have you You've probably driven loads. What other well, ones? I've driven all, maybe, all the preserved engines. Flying Scotsman, yeah. I did a lot of, doing a lot of work on the Flying Scotsman. Uh, wow. Green Have you actually do, done the work on it as well as drive then? So you no, I just drive them. Just, just drive, drive them, yeah. yeah. Oh, a lot of work, yeah. you mean, as in going? Oh, just yeah. as, as yeah. in driving, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, wow. What an honour. I used to tell the lads at Canforth when they were, uh, uh, what is, uh, they mend them, I mend them. <laughs> they what, say that again? I didn't catch that. I used to tell the maintenance lads at, uh, at Canforth, they mended them, I bent them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly uh, concourse condition because it's used. But it's natural. It's used. It's just as it, it is. is. It's yeah. wonderful. It stands outside. It's as still I said. here after all those years. Yeah. It's wonderful. And it's got so much story and it's seen yeah. so much. Yeah. Well, I so think it's an amazing story. Nearly 349,000 miles. It's an absolute it credit now. to you to keep it for that long. Yeah. I, th I think yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah. I think we, it's absolutely wonderful. Are we all right to have a look inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. jump in. Is that bit on the um, side of your door? Is that an ashtray? Yeah. You're obsessed with ashtrays. <laughs> <laughs> well, they always just look so good. Ashtray <laughs> 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 fetish. The aircraft builders is. You are. There were aircraft designers that designed these. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's been different. System for them, so I've got a stainless steel one there, and that's why it's so noisy because it's only got the I one don't think silence it doesn't seem noisy back. to me, no. not compared to mine, They're a, they're, a, they're a very uh, practical, just a, a simple practical motor car. They do anything, go anywhere. Yes, you to know to get one. Thank yeah. you very much. In fact, well, the, the rally history on these, these, the one they had, they say, rally five times. Really? 
I mean, when the Monte Carlo rally, all the Arctic rallies, there, there weren't even rally, there was too many in the 60s and 70s. Even a rally car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two mad Swedes that used to drive them. Well, there was Eric Carlson who was the, the original driver, but he was mostly in the two-stroke engine ones. And Stig Blomqvist and Per Eklund were the two worst drivers in the EV4. Most of these were when they were there, sort yeah. of like made time. When yeah, they were, were uh, worst drivers, yeah. They're going to say don't rally them now. Mm. Well, in. And, uh, well, I've been driving since I was 17. Yeah. And I'm 84 now, and I've had three motor cars. Three? Honestly, mm -hmm. in all that time? Yeah. Oh, I've wow. lost in seven. Oh. Oh, and the Morris one, the original Morris Miners, oh, with the sidewalk miners. engine. And then uh, this one. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, that's a fab story. Right, we want to go through three cars spend, your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spend all day here with this car. Uh, thank you yeah. so much. Thank it's you been so absolutely much. wonderful. Mm -hmm. And um, we better get on. <laughs> thank you. It's right. been a great story. Okay. It's been a pleasure good. to meet you. We've really enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A great story have a good day. and great pictures. And you, you have a good day too. You too. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Much. Bye. Right. Bye. Yeah, I've been so much. You could well. I don't think I really see much like that. It's very like you know. I don't know how to explain that arty, like sort of like a retro sort of way, isn't it? He's so interesting, they have such an interesting story. Got to move on now and get all the other cars, otherwise the day will be gone because I just couldn't leave that car. <laughs> Come on, let's go have a look round.